All right, Stromedy Squad, moment of truth. We just parked up the RV. We're at a hotel. We slept the night. We had to get a good night's sleep for what's about to happen in the next hour. We're talking about the house. The one house to rule them all. The highlight of this entire trip. We're going to the one place that haunted us for weeks. Yana's literally been having nightmares about this house. Yo. Guys, 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 guys. I have repetitive dreams about being in this house, and now that we're going again, I have severe anxiety. Well, we read an email from the medium. Okay, we asked. so basically, we reached out to a medium just to see if they would want to do a very authentic reading of the house. This is what she said. She said, Thank you for reaching out. This is something I've been asked to do in the past. However, it is not something I agree with, as I feel they should be left alone and is not something that resonates with me. I do not agree with disturbing certain spirits. And guys, we offered her $3,000 for an hour, and she's still saying, no. She said it's not about the money. I do not agree with what you're doing, basically. <laughs> and then we ended up taking Alexa to another medium slash psychic because she hasn't been herself recently and she's been claiming to like see shadows at night in her hotel room. Yeah, like she thinks something basically followed her back. So yeah, we took her to one of these mediums. <laughs> Wait, what? I think DK's more possessed than any of us. Nah, I just wanted to get close to you because I'm getting a little bit scared, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we took her to a medium yesterday and that medium basically told Lex that she has the same abilities. The ability to communicate with the dead, to see spirits. And that explains everything she's been going through in the last two videos. When she said she was seeing spirits with us in Hotel Henry. Apparently Lex has medium-like abilities. And I'm honestly not surprised because since the beginning of this trip, she's been like the first one to always be very sensitive to like activity. She was crying in that one yeah. video. I felt super bad. But yeah. anyways, it took some convincing to get her to come to the Conjuring House. She was almost ready to go back to Toronto and just ditch the entire road trip. But I told her we're going to try to be respectful to the spirits. We're not going to provoke them in any way. And she agreed to stay. So right now, we're 20 minutes away from the Conjuring House. We're going to meet up with Andre and Lex. And Stromedy Squad, you guys might want to buckle up because it's not going to get any crazier than this video. We are eight minutes away from the Conjuring House, guys. Everything's starting to look very conjury. I really hope the car breaks you down and we don't get no, there. I'm super nervous about this one. And the weird thing is, is last time we went to the Conjuring House, day after, everybody got sick. The spirits like literally lower your immune system. They suck your energy out of your body. Every time you leave these haunted places, you feel extremely drained, but you nothing- You exhausted after? Yeah, yeah, nothing matched how drained you felt after the Conjuring House. I think it's because there's just so many spirits sucking on your energy there. Maybe there's another way to phrase that, but yo, what if we played hide and seek in the Conjuring house? Nobody's ever done that. Nah, you dude, want me to nah. hide alone in a room in that house? Hide and seek in the Conjuring house? I don't know if I can do that. That's scary. Maybe the Conjuring house is the new prime capital house. Maybe the hiding spot would be the truck or no. I actually don't think you'd get found there. And I'm just like out of the house and stuff, so like you know, I'm not in the conjuring house, you know. Just hide back in Toronto. Yeah, I might just take a flight out to Madagascar. <laughs> Yo, look, you can see it, it's right there. Yo, I remember. You see it? Damn, we're actually here. No. Yo, yo. We're actually back at the house. I can't believe I never thought I'd be back here. We're back at the conjuring house. You said you experienced some things in here? Get them out. Doors opening and closing by themselves. Seeing people in the house that weren't actually there. In the bathroom was my first experience. Okay, the last time we were here, we felt the weirdest in the upstairs room. Like okay. the, the one on the far side. Oh, Christine and Nancy's room? I think so. I think yeah. that's what, yeah. Uh, that room definitely has its own special yeah. feeling too, that's it. Yeah, we had that sensation that like something sprinted right through us. Okay. And everyone got like goosebumps. Goosebumps like kind of maybe a cold gust of wind. Yeah, kind of that kind yeah. of vibe. What's like the yeah. craziest thing you've ever seen? Craziest thing I've ever experienced in the house. I would say this has, so this happened about four or five months ago. I was in our staff room. We can listen in on the cameras in the house. So we're listening in to hear what's going on. Maybe we can catch a voice. And out of nowhere, we just hear this animal sound like a dog barking in the house. So we're like, what is this? What's going on? And so I call the camera guy. He runs all the cameras in the house and I'm like, hey, you gotta listen to this. Did you leave the door open? Is there a dog in the house or a coyote? He's like, what are you talking about? So he listens in on the cameras and he's like, dude, you're messing with me. This has to be a joke. Like I'm not falling for it. I'm like, no, I'm being dead serious. There is an animal in the house barking. So we heard dogs barking outside but we were listening to the basement cameras and it doesn't pick up from that far it's very sensitive but we're listening in and we just keep hearing growling and barking and we're freaking out we don't know how to what to expect out of this the next morning we woke up to the dogs barking in the house again at around 7 a.m the camera guy pulled in to check it out as soon as he pulled in the driveway it barked one more time and it stopped if you walk into the house disrespecting the house then they'll disrespect you right back because these spirits were 
once living humans. Okay. They still have their personality and stuff, but if you walk in acknowledging what's in the house and what the house is capable of, then they're gonna show you the utmost respect as well, and you'll have a good time here. Do you ever get physical with people? Um, you could get touched, you could get scratched, you could have something fly off the shelf in your direction. That is something that I have experienced in Andrea Parent's room of a toy car flying off the shelf and hitting me in the foot. Yeah, what about the basement? The basement, I'd say, is where most people get more of the physical stuff. A lot of women have felt strands of their hair get pulled up. Um, also, maybe a little bit of a tug. That's you, Yana. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm scared now. I'm like... We all have immunity from that. <laughs> I remember signing this. You are entering one of the most iconic and paranormal activity locations in the world. You must treat the home and its spirits with respect and reverence. Therefore, as a condition to be allowed a privilege of being here, you will agree to the following terms. No provoking, taunting, verbal abuse of the spirits. No crossing over of spirits or attempts to remove any spirits. No casting of spells in the house, spirits, or objects. No seances or channeling of spirits. No inviting of any attachments to any living person or animal. You guys get the idea just basically nothing that you're gonna regret okay. you know, the conjuring house is getting kind of corporate thank you welcome thanks for coming yeah. to the house i remember that smell let's go up to the middle bedroom the most active is that room the room house. is that the you room? room the most active room in the house i would say oh, damn the bedroom room So I believe the room that you were in was that one down there. Yeah, that's where we felt like the weird like sprinting feeling. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So this is the middle bedroom. This is one of the three most active rooms in the entire house. The three most active rooms, like I said, one is in here. The second room is directly below us in the library. And the third one also directly below us in the basement. At some active locations, if you guys have been ghost hunting, you might notice a trend that the most active rooms are stacked right on top of each other. And it's the same case with this house. So do you guys remember watching the movie The Conjuring? I'm sure you all have seen it. There was a little boy named Rory. So the closest representation that we have to Rory is right inside this closet. His name is Henry Oliver Richardson. From what we know, he passed away when he was eight years old and he likes to play with toys. He likes to throw things off of shelves. We actually caught a softball rolling back and forth by itself in that bedroom. Um, so that was pretty cool to capture when the Heinzens lived here. I would challenge all of you during your four hour investigation to go inside this closet by yourself and see what happens. The most common thing that happens to people are the coat hangers rattling back and forth by themselves. He might grab your shoulders, he might start poking your forehead or touching your hat, also sliding your glasses down your face. Those are the most common stories that I've heard from Henry. So this is called a REM pod. Um, these are motion detectors, basically how this works is there's a switch down here, you turn it on, you then set it up wherever you please. As you see, whenever something gets close to it, you will see these lights begin to flash. So it's believed that spirits can actually use their energy and touch these and will begin to set off different colors. Really? Um, so we'll try it out. Can you please come touch this REM pod? No need to be shy or scared. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is this Henry? If this is Henry, can you come touch it one more time? If this is one of the Arnold family members, John, Abigail, Olive, Maury, can you come touch it? If this is April Perrin, she was the youngest daughter who passed away from the Perrin family who slept in this room. If it's April, can you come touch it? If you are a new spirit to this house, if you haven't been here often or maybe it's your first time, can you come touch this again? It won't hurt you, I promise. I feel like it was 100% Henry before. I, I, I kind of feel like it was Henry, but I can't yeah, really Yeah, because it had like a playful vibe to it. Mm -hmm. Can you touch it just one more time for us? Just to prove that you are... Thank you. Thank you so much. Henry, if it's you, can you move away from the REM pod in three, two, one, now. Thank you, you so much, Henry. You Thank you, Henry. All right, Henry, if this is you 100%, stop touching the REM pod. We'll let you come touch it back in a second, but move away completely for a few seconds, please. Maybe it's not. I feel like he's trying to make up for before. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here now. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Thank you. Yep, move away from it. Thank you so much. He's like, yep, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
This is where it happened last time, right? Yeah. It was right here. We were standing right here. I remember I was standing right here, you were standing right here, and something rushed through us. Yeah, like from there, from that part of from the house. There? Guys, I'm gonna roll the clip from our last experience here, and we all felt that sudden rush of panic, like something just like sprinted like straight through us. I started crying. It was that bad. Whoa. Dude, I just felt like a huge yeah. shift. Same, Whoa. same. You are feeling that right yeah. now. Yeah. Same, same. You are feeling that. What is yeah. that? I swear to God, I got that dude. Let's go downstairs. Bro, bro. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, relax. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, did you guys feel anything or no? All right, you guys, we're in the conjuring house. We're up in the middle floor, which is supposed to be the most active room in the house. And you can already feel like that overwhelming sense of pressure on your head. This is definitely the heaviest room to me. And apparently there's a boy in this room by the name of Henry, who is in that closet behind us right here. That one right over there. And yeah. you guys heard the guy say, if you stand in that closet by yourself with the door closed, you mm -hmm. could feel scratching or like him touching you. Yeah. The clothes hangers rattling. So I'm gonna and do that right now. Apparently he likes toys. So maybe you should bring one of these toys in with you. You, okay. as like an offering to him, you know? Okay, okay I'm gonna bring this in. Okay, he said these clothes hangers can rattle. Henry, if you're in here, can you please give me a sign? Henry, if you're in here, can you please move one of the coat hangers? Or you can speak through the camera, flicker a light or make a noise. Yana, do you notice anything out there? Nothing out here yet. Henry, if you're here, can you move one of the clothing racks? Henry, if you're here, give us a sign. Dude, I definitely feel freaking weird. Okay, you guys, I got the Necrophonic app again. We're gonna try to communicate with Henry. Henry, if you're in here, can you please give us a yes? Oh, did that say yes? Yeah, that was a clear yes. Henry, if you're in here, can you please give me a sign? Guys, if you can make out anything that's coming through on the necrophonic, comment it down below. Henry, if you're listening to this, can you please give us a yes? That sounded like a kid. Did you hear that, Yana? That sounded like a kid. That sounded 100% like a kid. Are you serious? Kyle! Kyle! What? What? Look at the light! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the light! Yeah, Kyle. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. My contact fell out. Are you good? I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Wait, sorry. My contact Yo, fell that out, man. Sounded, that sounded... Kyle, also, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to trip out because... <gasps> See that? Look, 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 look. Henry, are you flickering the light? These are the most childish voices we've ever gotten through this app. Henry, are you here with us right now? Yes or no? It's a little boy. It really is. Henry, how That's old are you? That's actually Henry, look. How old are you, Henry? Do you see the light? He said yes. Guys, I don't know if you're seeing that, but the light's flickering 100%. Yana, record this. And I was not doing that before. No, Kyle, it wasn't. It had stopped now. Henry, give me a sign. You're crying too, huh? I know, I literally it's am. Henry, give us a sign on the light. <gasps> it just light! said light. It just said light. It just said light. I actually can't believe this. We're talking to Henry right now. Yo, I can't believe it. Say Yana or Kyle. You notice how Why it did stopped? It stop? No, no one's gonna believe us about this. No yeah. one's actually gonna believe us. I know. Henry. Henry, if you're listening to us right now, can you please give us another physical sign in we the room? We brought this doll for you. Did you see something there? Or am I tripping? No. Good. No, no, just try to calm down. Okay. Try to calm down because I feel like it's a good spirit. Okay. okay. Yeah, you don't have to be so scared. Like, I actually feel positive energy. Henry, if you're listening to this, can you please say yes? 
play with the light again. You haven't played with it in a while. If you hear me play with it again. Henry, if you can still hear me, give me a sign. That almost sounded like Henry. Henry, are you still here with us? Give us a sign. I feel like don't talk as much. There we go. Thank you, Henry. Okay, guys, so little boy spirit named Henry that the guy was talking about is giving us clear signs right now. You heard him come through on the necrophonic. He's flickering with the light. That was Henry. Did you hear that? That was Henry. That was Henry, that was and the light just flickered. And I have major goosebumps. Should we go in the closet together, or should I go in by myself again? Let's go in together. Yeah? Let's close this. All right, me and Yana are in here together now. We're getting clear signs from Henry. Henry, are you in here with us right now? Yes or no, Henry, are you in here? Okay, Henry, if you're listening, thank you so much for flickering the lights. Um, if there's any other signs you would like to give us, you can go ahead and do them now. We are open to all signs. You're welcome to play with the hangers, play with the string. Henry, those coat hangers over there, could you please move those? Henry, what is your name? Can you please tell us your name? Sometimes it vaguely sounds like Henry. Yeah. Henry, can you say my name? My name's Kyle. Can you say my name? We brought a little toy for you. We'll actually leave it in here for you. And when we come here later today, you can move it. We'll leave it here. And you can play with it. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, Henry. Nice talking to you. Okay, guys, we were getting some pretty strong activity up in that middle room. I think we're gonna try a little bit in the basement now. We're gonna try the REM pod in the basement. Everybody, a lot of people have said, how do you feel? Gosh, it's not feeling too hot, so. Do you still feel weird? Yeah. I feel a bit better. Do you wanna come in the basement or no? We're gonna try that thing in the basement. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Yeah, the whole house has like a slightly dizzy feeling. Yeah. The cool thing with this house is Norma Sutcliffe, who lived here during the making of the home, turned this into a full-time daycare for children in the early 2000s. That wooden box was actually here when it was a daycare. You'll see that there's drawings that seems to be a crooked neck man, crooked neck woman. This is one of the spears that apparently some of the kids saw. So where would you, where would you want the REM pod? Probably right there. I'm standing directly on top of it. This is probably me right now setting it off. Um, if there's any spirits down here in the basement with us, Olive Arnold, if you're here, anybody that is here, please come touch this REM pod. It's just a motion detector. It won't hurt you if you touch it. You just saw me touch it. I feel I feel perfectly fine. So if you want to let your presence be known, make a noise down here, throw something off the shelf, or come touch this REM pod. We can understand if you're a little bit shy. It's okay if you are. You're welcome to touch or pull my hair if you want to. To give me a sign. Abigail, Olive, are you down here? If you are, give us a sign. Okay. <gasps> that's, you see, the oh. lights do flicker in the house, but that's on command. But it's on yeah. command. It's that's on command, exactly yeah. exactly what Henry yeah. was doing yeah. in his room, or in, in by the closet. All right, you guys, so we're in the basement. We're gonna try the dowsing rods again because you guys really liked when we did that in the Bergen house. If there's a spirit with us down here, show me yes. Can you show me no? Okay, did you do that or no? I didn't do that. If this is Olive, can you please go to yes? Is this you, Olive? Is Abigail with you, yes or no? Where 
are you in the room with us right now? Can you point? Can you point to where you are in the room right now? Did that, did that move? Did, you, didn't, you didn't move that? Can you please rotate the rods in a circle? Can you rotate the other one? Can you rotate the left one, please? Can you do the left now? Okay, Olive, I'm trying the dowsing rods now. Is this Abigail? Yes. Abigail, were you touching the REM pod earlier? Was that you? Down here in the basement? Yes. Abigail, is there a room in the house that we should not go into? No. Abigail, is there any negative spirits inside or near this house? some pretty heavy responses with this necrophonic, so we're going to try using it while using the dowsing rods. Mm. Abigail, Olive, if you're down here, can you please give us a yes? Could you say your name, Abigail? Say your name through the necrophonic. Say your name into the phone. Could you please point to where you are in the room right now, Abigail? Please point to where you are in the room. See that? Look. Right there. Please give us a yes if you're standing on my left. Olive, would you be willing to play the game hide and seek with us later? Abigail and Henry can join as well. Are you excited to play hide and seek? Olive or Abigail, could you please flicker the light one more time for us? <gasps> see that? You see that? That was insane, that, Abigail. That was insane. Uh, if this was Abigail flickering the light, could you flicker it again? <gasps> you see that? You see that? Yo, it just flickered. It just flickered. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, Andre and Lex. Yeah. yeah. We've already caught some crazy stuff on camera. Like, seriously. Yeah. Okay. Why did we sign four waivers to come in this place? I told you in the beginning of the video, we took Lex to like a psychic slash medium. And yeah, that was trippy. She claimed that you had like medium yeah. abilities. Yeah. Like, so. I mean, like, let's see. We're going to see how she feels inside the house right Like, now. I've been very nervous, like knowing that yeah. since last night. She didn't sleep at all. Dude. No, really? I didn't. Yeah. No, no. Like, I'm actually like very apprehensive going in here right now. And with that being said, on with the tour. Okay. <laughs> Donna. Hi, Len. What is that? Oh, these are uh, dowsing rods. Are you good? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm just seeing. I'm calming down now. Okay. okay. I feel calm. This is a bad idea bringing her <laughs> to really? Yeah. I don't know if you guys like actually interacted with him or anything, but like, I feel like I'm like hearing like a name almost. I don't know, that's a vibe or just me being like weird. Um, I'm hearing like a, I'm hearing clicking. Yeah. Maybe ask him, ask him what his name is. If there's a spirit in here right now, we talked to you earlier. Could you please let our friend Lex here know what your name is? Henry. Yo. What? Why are you making that face? Why are you making that face? Stop, my face going red. No, stop. What? Yo, I'm going to tell no, Yana. No, I'm going to tell Yana. 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 She was, she was just upstairs. 
right? We didn't tell her the name of the spirit, the little boy spirit. We asked him if he could tell Alexa what his name is, and then she said Henry without even knowing. I feel like absolute vomiting. Are you serious? That's also what the guy said. So many people feel nauseous in this house. You're telling me mm -hmm. you knew the name before? Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. What did you hear? Like, you just heard like a- Henry. Like Henry. Oh my god, Yana, that's the spirit that we talked to. That's literally the boy we talked to for like- 30 minutes upstairs in the class. Okay, but guys, like, don't know, like- No, we actually- He was flickering the lights, like, he's super- Dude, that kid is was, really- Can we yeah, have, like, was, a confirmation check He was flickering the, the lights and everything. Dead out. To ask, yeah, you can ask the guy. Okay, look, let's go in the basement real quick. Oh, I don't even want to, like, enter this. How do you feel? It's horrible. Yo, we did the dowsing rods right here. And then they were flickering that light right there. Yeah. Do you feel any spirits down here? I felt it way more upstairs. But here, I, I don't really feel anything, no. Where did you guys, like, interact with them? Where was right it? Right where we're standing. Right where we're standing? Yeah. Like, I was yeah. sitting there. If you'd like to make your presence known, please let me know your name. Okay. 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 Um, I feel like very heavy right now. Seriously? Hey, she's a, she's a. saying a. 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 Dude, she's saying A. Dude, it Could is you please cold. let Alexa know what your name is? A. I'm hearing like. Abby? Abby? Abby Gale! That is it. Guys, please. Like, you're no, actually that, no, joking. Yeah, that was close. Like, that was close. No, that was yeah. very close. That was yeah. basically it. Abby yeah, Gale. No, 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 no. I just saw And it's mad cool. No, 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 no. I, I just, dude? guys, I lit that up. Just saw, like, a stroke of, like, something white over there. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sweating. Guys, okay. I went from freezing to sweating. Let's go back upstairs. I don't want to be here. Yeah. I went from freezing to sweating. Why is it so cold out of nowhere? That was crazy. We didn't even tell Lex what the spirits' names were, and she knew. I'm actually mind blown right now. Okay, should we play hide and seek? Dude, I really, this is like <laughs> the one thing I actually don't want to hide and seek. I'm very lightheaded and dizzy right now, to be completely honest. But I saw, like, actually, like down, like we were we were trying to communicate with what I heard, Abby, but they said her name or Abigail. someone they talked to was Abigail. So that's. That's trippy for sure, but like, as soon as I said it, and then like I turned, like they were all facing this way, but I looked over towards the stairs, and I it was like white though. It went like. Yeah, we've gotten so many, so signs so many in this house. signs. Like an arm, like a. Yeah. This house is so full of activity. It's actually crazy. Yeah, even the guy was saying it when I walked in. Yeah. We have everyone a part of the group here now, and we're gonna do something that no other YouTuber has ever dared to do inside of the Conjuring house. We're gonna play hide and seek. I didn't think it's kind of creepy as it is, let alone in a haunted alone, house. Alone, like each person films their perspective. See, now I know you're right. actually no, let's do partners. Right tripping, let's do Kyle. Kyle. You guys remember, we came here last year where we felt that intense, crazy wave of like spiritual energy like flow through us, and, and everyone was in complete shock. There is no place that I've been to that matches the weird vibe and energy that the conjuring house has like your equilibrium's off this kind of weird distortion from reality feeling but without further ado let's get started i feel like this is the worst idea it's a really bad idea the key word dude like nobody's ever done you know and the winner gets a ride back to the hotel all right okay well we're all walking hey i don't think that's a good idea everyone put your feet in Wait, can I just clarify? Is this hiding alone? Like, have you ever played hide and seek? Before? Can we partner yeah, it's the same up? thing except in the conjuring house. Okay, everyone, put your feet in. All right, ready? Yeah. Whoever I land on is it. I'm right. not. And then the I'm rest, the rest, ten I'll seconds. Take that right now. Sky blue, sky blue. Everybody's out except for Y O U. Wait, oh, you're, you're it. Of course, you're, it. It. you're, I'm it. It. you're no. it. No, no. <laughs> okay, wait. Actually, I feel like that's I mean, not that's as bad. That's what you get, like, for <laughs> making us yeah. bad. It's also it's better. better. How is that you better? Have to We're about to play hide and seek in the Conjuring house. Okay. All right, 10 seconds, go! 10 oh. seconds. All right, you guys. We're going to hide and seek in the Conjuring house. Right now, I know just the place he is not going to expect. Watch this, guys. Donna, I don't want to hide alone. Do I go up here? Oh, they're going upstairs, guys. Eight. For no reason. Seven. Eight. Six. Uh, Yo, go down. Hurry up. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Okay, where are you at? Oh, 
have no idea. Two, one. Ready or not, here I come. Hello, come out wherever you are. Okay, I'm kind of nervous. I have to go all throughout the house right now. First person I'm definitely catching is DK. Guys, there's no way he's gonna find me. Hey, Trey, where are you hiding? Yo, there's so many spider webs in here, guys. Do you believe it's a Kyle to do this inside of this house? Oh my god, Kyle really made us do this, eh? I know, this is crazy. Y'all, look, I I'm pacing. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> do you think we can hide under the bed? Okay, that's actually good. I'm gonna hide in the other corner behind the other thing. Okay. Oh, that's unsettling. Alright, I think like this is a good spot. And now we wait. What's that? I think I'm gonna win this and we're coming down below. I think he's gonna win. I mean guys, between me and you, there's no way you can miss DK. That guy hasn't missed a meal. Okay, I feel like I'm just gonna get the library out of the way right now. Yo. Okay. Nobody can even hide in there, really. I've pretty much searched the whole main floor and nobody's here, so. Check this room. Oh, that just leads to the library, okay. All right, this game of hide and seek is already starting off pretty intense. Wait, I don't even know if I wanna go back down to the basement. Okay, you guys, I'm hiding right now. He's gonna see me here. It's, it's way too easy of an area. I think I'm gonna move. Um. <gasps> First, we're gonna check the kitchen. hearing stuff. Oh God. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna go in here. <sighs> okay. I know for a fact Yana and Alexa did not hide in the basement. They would not go down there. <laughs> gonna dude, find you first dude i literally just told the camera that there's no way he's checking here first and then you check here first dude dude I that thought, was way too easy i know but dude like i thought you were gonna go upstairs there's so many other places you could go except here like okay, i literally okay. thought i was like reverse tricking you you know Yo, what I'm you saying? just didn't want to go in the basement no, oh, oh, you didn't want to go to the creepy not. spots this, I am not. this is the least creepy spot in the house <laughs> dude, wow dude. you're actually a fraud nah, dude, i know it's an easy spot but listen Sometimes things are in places where you're just so open and can see that you can't see it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what DK's punishment should be down below in the comments. That was just way too easy. We all know he just didn't want to go to the creepy parts of the conjuring house. <laughs> you're actually like, a baby. I know, but what made you check that first though? Like, did you the whole house? Yeah, just clearing the main floor first. Oh my goodness. I feel like DK should do a 24 hour challenge in the conjuring basement house by himself. Okay, nobody I, got an, I got an idea for that one. Over one million likes and I'll do it. You heard him, guys. Five likes and he'll do it. Because I think that's DK who got caught. All right. Let's check uh, the bathroom real quick. Found you! <sighs> this is a really bad idea. Why are we playing hide and seek in the conjuring house, guys? Okay, what's this? Room? Is this a I should just stay here, but there's not really many places to hide in the basement. Hey. Nobody's in here. Let me go upstairs. Somebody has to be in here. Somebody definitely went in here. 
Oh, no, found you! Oh no. my god, no, I almost did <laughs> Are you good? Oh, no, Are no, you no, good? No, 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 okay, Kyle just found someone. It's definitely like she's crying. <laughs> Are you okay? No. She's in tears. As per usual, but that's that's fine. <laughs> Wait, no. how long were you in there? Jesus. Like, I actually feel like, not long, like, not long, not long. I feel like you at least should have just, like, hit somewhere less creepy. What about under the bed I or actually, something? I, no, I, I... Okay, you're the second to be found. Okay. Jesus, yo, I, I didn't even know this room that. existed. Yo, look at that. Oh, it feels weird in there. Let's definitely close that again. <laughs> There's no way somebody had the courage to go in here. Henry, is there anybody in here? If I stayed there, Wait, you wouldn't where? have found me. I was hiding behind here the entire time. Actually, I yeah! went right past you. Dude, I know. I'm dumb. I shouldn't have switched. Damn it. Well, there. You're, you're the third, third? one to get caught. Okay. Yeah. Not too bad. where Alexa was hiding. Where? That was brutal. Scary. Yeah. All right, guys. Yana is out. Let's make sure there's nobody in here. Nobody under the bed. Under the bed would have been crazy. I'm in the basement alone. If there's any spirits out there, I come in peace. I promise I come in peace. So they have to be in the basement. Whoever went in the basement? <laughs> Jesus, that person has guts. And I think Yana and Alexa go hard, which leaves it just me and Audrey. I don't know if I could be down there by myself. I actually kind of want Kyle to find me. I don't know if I'm going to sit in the basement alone. Ready or not, here I come. Come out, come out, where are you? Ready or not, here I come. Yo, if you guys are actually down here, you're messed. There's no way one of you chose the basement to hide. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Yo, were you down here the whole time? Yeah, dude. Did you Bro, hear anything? No, but my phone like stopped working. Like I was trying to just go on it. And Seriously? No yeah, there's no server. I could see you coming down through here. Oh, you're a savage. <laughs> yeah, Arjun must be down here too, because he's the last one. Arjun won. Oh, he won? Yeah. So I can like actually to say where he is? I'm gonna try to find him still. Alright. Guys, if you're down here by yourself and you see this like as a silhouette, you'll actually have the worst panic attack. Oh, Mr. Arjun. Yo, Arjun. If you're down here, uh, just know that we just talked to Abigail and Olive and they said they're coming for you. No, 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 Bro, yeah. you're actually gonna be- Dude, I had like three panic attacks down here, bro. Wait, were you down there? Bro, I literally you... hiding there for like three for the last 15 minutes. Jeez. I just blew my cover. Yo, you won. But that's you who turned no, that one on, though. Did you I actually won. win? Yeah, you won. So what did I win? Like, what did I actually win? Uh, yeah, I got nothing.
All right, you guys, and that is going to wrap up the Conjuring video. Playing hide and seek in that house had to have been one of the creepiest things I've ever done in my life. There's a vibe that you get in that house that you just don't get anywhere else. Completely unexplainable, but communicating with Henry, the little boy spirit up in that middle room, and then talking to Olive and Abigail in the basement, I could not believe the signs they were giving us. Flickering the lights, coming through on the necrophonic, moving the dowsing rods, lighting up the REM pod. If there's one place you're guaranteed to get activity, it's at the Conjuring House. Guys, if you want us to go back to the Conjuring House at night, and you guys have anything specific in mind for what you want us to do, comment it down below. And leave a like on this video. If this video can get to 25,000 likes, we'll book an overnight stay at the Conjuring House, and we'll literally do what the top comment wants us to do. So leave your ideas down below. I'm gonna be looking at them as soon as this video is uploaded. And Stromedy Squad, that is gonna wrap it up for this one. We're heading to our next location, the SK Pierce Haunted Victorian Mansion. One of the most haunted places in all of Massachusetts. I'll save it for the next video, guys. That one's gonna be crazy. You're not gonna wanna miss it, so stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. We just crossed 5.5 million subscribers. We're only just getting started, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!